Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but I, like just about everyone else, watched the RTX 3000 uh, reveal stream, and it was pretty impressive, all things considering. I wasn't a big fan of how they actually did the stream itself, but the core information is incredibly compelling. I just think they could have structured the stream a little bit better, but that's just my opinion. Thankfully, I was watching with a couple of buddies and all of the technical jargon that, you know, Twitch chat obviously is going to fall asleep from. There was like 150,000 people there, so a lot of like casual consumers were there. And there was a lot of technical nuances and jargon that a lot of people were not understanding. And yeah... I think people were just looking for the core information, but still, you have to get to stuff like that. I just don't know if that was the right area to present it. Nevertheless, that's not the information I want to talk about. We have the core information now with the RTX 3080 being a beast of a GPU for its price point. Although the price point that they revealed is the MSRP, generally speaking, the 3080 is probably going to be a bit more expensive than the 699 USD. And then, of course, we have the 3090 that people are just memeing on. I mean, it's going to be a ridiculously insane GPU, uh, but yeah, like... Uh, when they pulled it out, I was just like jaw on the floor. Like everybody I was watching it with were just super bugged out. We were like, what the hell is going on? Is this an actual thing? But you know, it's $1,499, so I don't think any of us are going to be picking it up. The 3080 seems to be the most compelling option and the one that people are really looking at. But the 3070 is also uh, pretty insane by the looks of it. But that won't be available until October, so that's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, the 3080 is going to be available relatively soon, specifically on September 17th, and then as far as the 3090, that'll be out September 24th. Even with the 3090, let me just get this off my chest right now, these GPUs are going to be super in demand. If you're actually looking to pick up one of these graphics cards come September 17th, you better be on your platform of choice, your e-tailer of choice, or you be, better be knocking down whoever you have locally that sells graphics cards, and you better pick it up ASAP, because I've been through GPU launches, and it's just absolutely nuts, and the anticipation for these graphics cards are through the roof, especially considering considering the 3080 looks to be outpacing, uh, you know, the 20 series GPUs by a substantial degree for a marginally lower price point. So it's going to be a very, very hot ticket item. All of these GPUs are going to be super hot ticket. Dude, in the holiday season, it's just a nightmare to get these graphics cards. You really have to be on top of everything. And what kind of sucks is I do want to also get a PlayStation 5. So uh, for the exclusive, you know, Mar Marvel Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Ratchet and Clank, Demon's Souls remake, I don't think those games are going to come to PC anytime in the near future. And then I also definitely want to upgrade my 1080. My 1080 has served me very, very well, but getting a 3080, I think now is the time. You know, I kind of uh, sat it out 2000 series. I had other uh, buddies pick up 2000 series GPUs, and I would kind of use them for any testing or anything I would need to do as far as that was concerned. But for my main rig, I've stuck with a 1080 for so long. And honestly, I'm kind of ready to upgrade my entire PC altogether. I'm in that mood where I think it's time that I build an entire new new PC. We're still on the i7-7700K, 16 gigabytes of RAM. There's some components I can reuse, but I kind of want to do an overhaul of my entire rig. But who knows? Cyberpunk is about to be out, so I'm super excited for that. Uh, about Instead of talking about that, why don't we actually get back to talking about the GPUs. The 3080 is going to be the hot one. The 3070, however, is also going to be something that everybody is going to be all over. It probably will be more popular. Generally speaking, the 70 series GPUs are always incredibly popular. And if this is going to outpace, you know, 20 series GPUs as well for a much, much lower price at $499 available in October, it's going to be a very hot item, especially because there's going to be so many people that want to get a 3080. They're not going to be able to get one because it's going to sell out immediately and then they're going to move on to the 3070 and they're going to try their hand getting that and you know how it is there's going to be people buying up these gpus to then resell them on ebay for ridiculous price points i've lived through the gpu launches i just remember it was a nightmare getting a 970 back in like 2014 and a, a lot of the duration while the 10 series gpus were out uh the crypto mining craze happened so yeah it's a nightmare sometimes and again the era that we live in, you know, people still got the stim check money and they're looking to, you know, buy these GPUs and stuff. Look, I've been seeing how much people are buying PC components and pre-built computers. It is in right now. Everybody thought the pandemic was going to be like, okay, everybody's just going to stop buying stuff and all of these businesses are going to are gonna take hit. Yes, restaurants have taken hits. Locations like that have taken hits. Uh, live sporting events have taken hits. However, people are doing more consumer spending for entertainment products and devices like this than ever before. You look at some of these numbers that video game publishers are pulling it's just absolutely crazy and there's definitely a market that 
you know, a lot of people are indoor, they want to accentuate their gaming experience, how are they going to do that? They're going to get a better GPU, and then there's also rumblings of a 3070 Ti, 3070 Super, everything like that. That information is going to roll out in the near future, but again, let me reiterate that if you have any interest in these gpus i feel like a lot of you guys are gonna think it's like freaking cakewalk just walking in being like all right boys i'm ready for my 3080 if you're like 15 minutes late honestly after these listings go up i, th I think you're done i think that, that that's how crazy it's gonna be i fully expect that to be like that with the next generation consoles people are just looking to upgrade their gaming experiences i might be entirely wrong but usually i can sense the buzz about certain things like this pretty well and yeah just living through graphics card launches in the past i just know it's going to be absolute insanity performance wise these are obviously going to be a massive massive increase after the 20 series were uh you know you could say a little overpriced it looks like you know the price points are coming down to size these are compelling price points that people are actually going to be able to afford and they're going to provide incredible performance and obviously let me just know, 3080, 10 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory, 3090, a whopping 24 gigabytes, and then the 3070 will have 8 gigabytes of G6. Uh, a lot of the notion is that if you're able to get a higher uh, VRAM amount, that you should probably be going that route if for longevity sakes. I think 10 gigabytes is going to be serviceable. Uh, I don't know if at this point they're going to release like a higher uh, end model of the 3080. We'll see how that turns out. A lot of uncertainty in regards to specific other GPUs and things of that nature, but right now these are looking incredibly compelling. Remember that yes, the list price is $700. Chances are you're going to be paying a little bit more uh, for the 3080 and the 3070 and the 3090. And with the 3090, yes, I said it's $1,500 and nobody like uh, the schmucks like me aren't going to buy it, but I fully expect that to sell out as well. I imagine they're going to make a limited amount of them. It's going to be a hot ticket item and people are just looking to spend money right now. $1,500 for it. I think people are going to buy it, especially because it's offering such a premium gaming experience. They're talking, you know, 8K. Uh, they had the little bit, which everybody was memeing on at the live stream. Honestly, people on Twitch live stream just meme. I just got to start closing the chat. But yeah, just on the basis that when I checked, there was like 150,000 people watching that stream. Obviously, 150,000 people probably aren't going to buy the GPU right away, but that level of interest is kind of crazy, and I think they were trending on Twitter all day. It was pretty crazy the amount of buzz these graphics cards have. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you looking to pick up one of these new graphics cards? Are you going to wait it out? Are you comfortable with the build that you have? Are you looking to buy a pre-built? Let me know in the comment section down below. Always interested to hear from you guys. If you guys have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comments as well and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out hey what's going on guys mush here again hope you enjoyed the video as you guys might know youtube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky even if you're subscribed to the channel maybe you're not abundantly aware that i uploaded a video to remedy that situation make sure you hit the bell notification button this way whenever i upload a new video and i try to upload as consistently as possible you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live i would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.